Paul, um, we're talking football, but something slightly off the field, and that's the training facility, because it's been announced today that that has been approved for the National Bowl. I know you're relatively new to Milton Keynes. The Bowl's been here a long time. It's an iconic venue. And I mean, fantastic news for this club going forward. Yes. One, it's a training ground, a purpose-built training ground that the club can design and call its own. And secondly, it's the venue. It's it, it, It's even, you know, even talking about a training ground at the bowl, I've been at there myself, had a look around, it's just, uh, it's tantalising the whole mm. the whole thought of what can be achieved at that venue. So I know it's been a, a topic here for a long time. It was a topic the day I arrived about having this new training ground. I've known about the, the sort of, the progress for a long time. It's been kept under wraps and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's wonderful news. And I know Peter's delighted we got to this point. Still a lot of work to do to, to create you know, the vision, but uh, it, I mean, it's not just a training ground. It's going to be, it's going to be a fabulous training ground. So um, everyone's really pleased. And just look, I mean, this, this is obvious to a certain extent, but it's where I think Pete used the expression, "This is the this is the shop front, and that's the factory." You know, the, the the training ground is where you do most of your work as a manager and as a squad. That's how important it is. Yes, I mean, most people on the outside would instantly think of the club and think of the stadium the ground as they would with any football club but actually the work we do we come to work nine to five whatever you know the same same as anyone else does and that's that's your training ground that's your training facility and in terms of hours spent there'd be a lot more hours spent on the training ground in the gym in the medical room in the in the lecture rooms the canteen etc kit room laundry all those sort of all, all the places which make up a football training ground um many more hours spent than actually the stadium um, but aren't we lucky to have what looks like um, the the perfect combination you know a, a wonderful stadium like this and then a training ground that is that has you know the expectations of course are very high all of a sudden but you know um, a training ground that is of a level that could that could match this stadium so uh, yep I think f for us who work in football it's uh, the training ground is is the missing piece here mm -hmm. And we're really looking forward to getting that solved. And just one final question on that. Obviously, from a, working there is going to be fantastic for you and the players. What about enticing players to come to Milton Keynes-Tons? Is that part of your your sell, as it were, to, to come and join Milton Keynes-Tons as a football club to a player that maybe is looking at multiple clubs? Well, it all helps. I mean, there are so many factors. Actually, when we're talking recruitment. There are so many factors and variables that apply. And it's choosing the most important factor to that player um, the one thing we haven't been able to do is use that as a factor so it's it's never been a, it's never been really a topic we've had we've, we've had plenty of pluses we can mm. plenty of spot positives we can spin plenty of you know tours around the stadium and everything else but the training ground has never been a big a big selling point it will be and I would guess that in the future should the club gain the the success that the, the the progress it intends to do and we again go into the championship one day then it, it will become more of a factor because that then you'll be looking at the other clubs that we're up against if we're trying to recruit and sign players then I think then I think it will be not just great but it'd be a necessity to be able to to compete because I think that uh, um, whereas we're not complaining at the moment you know we've got no complaints really what we do we know that should the club go forward it's a big factor and um if we are one day as peter wants to us to be to establish ourselves at a level above then the training ground is a must going back to tuesday and we spoke briefly about it and i, I thought a lot about that and watched rewatched bits of the game as well and um <clears throat> played well there were there were points in that game that your side played really well and I, I you know i think a lot of people were very frustrated there wasn't something from the game can you take those positives surely you have to take those positives don't you a, there was a lot to work on, um, and that's great for a manager. You know, mm -hmm. I said to the players today, we all talk about the manager motivating the players. Um, the manager needs to be motivated too. That's a big fact that no one talks about. The manager needs to be motivated, and there's all sorts of ways that me or another manager can be motivated. But the best of all is seeing your side play with purpose and freedom and thrust and mm -hmm. spirit, and that's what we did on Tuesday. So that motivates me more than anything. So I said it to them this morning, thank you very much for your effort, well done. Shame, real shame we didn't get a result, but God, you've, you've given me a real, you've pushed me mm. to get, to get um, uh, 
thinking about what we can do and take things forward. They played really well. There were one or two bits and pieces missing in the performance, but um, it was a it was a it was a really good game of football where the opposition did something, stopped us, and then we responded and we deserve to go there's no doubt about it so we go forward I think with that positive and that confidence behind us it doesn't take away the importance of this Saturday more or less we still want to win this game against South End but um, in terms of how I feel about it I think everyone's more confident going forward um, than we were a week ago because we've had two two really good performances one of which was a great win came very close against Ipswich so things are, the wheels are turning and we're going to have to be creative with the way we play we've you know Reese Healy's going to be out for a while so again it's another forward so we will be creative with it but I like the way we played and the way we thought and the and the and the, the spark we had in the side and south end up next here then at stadium mk and with uh, Gary Waddock leading leading south end a, a man who's familiar with uh, this territory and and, and Wickham as well uh, have you crossed paths much with gary yeah, a lot actually. As a as a as a player, we I played against him a few times when he was at QPR and Bristol Rovers, and um, of course he managed at Aldershot in the conference sort of eleven, twelve years ago when I think Aldershot won the league. We got promoted that year at the, in the playoffs um, when I was manager of Exeter. So I come across Gary quite a few times. Then I went to Wickham, so a lot of time for Gary. His teams always play play good football when he has the chance to um, put his stamp on them. I'm sure they will, and uh, they've just scored. I think three goals in their last two games so uh, there's something happening there just hopefully uh, we play better on Saturday